Yo, what's up, what's up? So I got a, I got an OU battle real quick. It's actually a very good battle, very good battle. Please watch to the end. The end is kind of wild. But I'm going to be coming out with Clef Key, Crocodile, Suicune, Serena, Blastoise, Tapu, Lele. My man's Isa, a.k.a. Queezy, is going to be coming out with Typhlosion, Greninja, Pikachu, Skarmory, Gudra, and Sylvia. And yep, as we get the uh, battle started here, that's who I my lead is going to be, actually, is going to be Clef Key. His lead is going to be Typhlosion, of course. I'm actually going to end up switching out here, of course, and going straight, straight into my sweet coon because I'm not trying to take a flamethrower or whatever this sweet coon is really trying to do. As he actually does go for the eruption, he's probably not going to be doing nothing too much here as I have a water type here. And my sweet coon is very, as we all know, very bulk, very bulk. So he's going to actually switch out his Typhlosion here and go into his Gudra, which I pretty much have nothing or no answer for if you look down my team. I actually have Tapu Lele there and can do something to it, but I have my Sweet Coon here. I just went for a Calm Mind. He has his Gudra out here, and I'm actually going to go for the Substitute because I'm thinking I'm going to go to go for Substitute and maybe go for Ice Beam or actually just see what he's about to do. Actually, I do go for the substitute. He reveals he has the Thunderbolt, in fact. So, of course, after he reveals that, I'm going to end up switching my Sweet Coon out here. After I get a little bit of uh, health back from the leftovers, I'm going to uh, come in and throw out my Clef Key because I'm actually going to try to get up spikes, get up light screens. I have uh, Light Clay, Prankster, Clef Key. Very good support utility mine for this battle as she does go for the flamethrower, or he does. I'm very sorry, Queasy. He goes for the flamethrower and I actually take some damage there. Then I throw, get up a layer of spikes there. And he actually end up just two hit KO on me, knocking me out with the flamethrower. I'm actually gonna then bring up my Tapu Lele and I'm gonna end up. I don't know why. I actually, um, I maybe thought it was, she was he was gonna switch out, so I went for Psychic, just try to catch whatever was incoming. Even though it could have been Greninja, but still, I just did the Psychic just because I wanted to see if it was gonna switch into something. But then I just go for the Moonblast as he actually just stays in. I get Gudra down to about a good 25%. She goes for the Sludge Wave, which I'm happy I got on my light screen because my light screen is just just gonna be very, very helpful right here. And then I'm gonna go for the Moon Blast again to actually knock out the Gudra as I get a three hit KO, three hit KO because I did the Psychic, expecting that switch in. But as the Sylveon comes in, I look at my team and I have also no answer for this Sylveon. So I'm thinking I just gotta get the most damage off as possible as I actually do have the Giga Vault Havoc Z move on my Tapu Lele and I'm in, end up gonna go for that as I do get off I actually I get I get up I get pretty good damage off I want to say probably like I want to say 48 49 maybe even 50 percent probably 45 ish because of the, uh, the the spikes the spikes and uh, sorry but yeah, just the spikes damage off. But I'm actually going to go for the um, the Psychic here. As she gets some damage on me and goes for the Wish. And now that I see that it has Wish, she can just straight up calm mine and pretty much just set all the way up here. So after I see this Wish, I'm actually going to just hard switch straight into my Serena because this thing has to die. And there's only one way on my team that it can die. So as she goes for another calm mine. I bring I do bring up bring in my Serena, my shiny Serena. And I'm gonna end up going for the toxic here because I have I have to get this thing down. I have to whittle this thing down because it's it's already setting up to, to pretty much sweep me and I have nothing that that can really hit it. I have no skill type mom that can hit it. I have no I have, yes, I have no skill type mom. Very only weaknesses, yeah, it's still, but I have no physical attacking mods either that can get a good damage off on this Sylveon. So, so yep, uh, Sylveon's gonna end up doing the hyper voice, getting me down to a good 10 HP. 
you're gonna have more leftovers. I actually, this is the first turn of Toxic, so I'm still, I'm, I'm still thinking I'm gonna end up losing at least two Pokemon here because Sylveon's just here. So uh, I'm just gonna go for the U-turn and actually switch out and go to into Tapu Lele here, cause I'm, I'm just thinking Tapu Lele can at least maybe. Maybe, I don't even know, I'm thinking take a hit maybe as she ends up, or he ends up going for another calm mind. So he's really setting up, because at this point he could probably start going for hyper voices and just picking people off like one at a time until, until it dies by the toxic. But he goes for another calm mind, which I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll, t I'll even take that, because that, that stretches out the, um, the time meter for the toxic. So I just go for another psychic here to get some damage off. He actually goes for another wish, and I already see looking at his health. I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to get, get it much down as possible, cause I see that wish is actually gonna get off before I'm able to take this Sylveon down. As I go for another psychic, hoping, 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 but I, I don't even get near, get near knocking it out. But he's gonna end up going for the Shadow Ball and knocking me out. He's gonna end up uh, knocking me out here and getting, getting some, uh, some health back for the leftovers. And yeah, he, the toxic damage is gonna start wearing in a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna have to bring in my Serena here. This is the only physical attacking mod that I have at this point. So I just go for the Trap Kick, hoping I get a decent bit of damage off, which I actually did get a pretty good solid piece of damage off, but she ended up living and going for, or yep, the Sivion, she ends up living and going for the Hyper Voice. Knocks me out, and at this point, Toxic is finally going to get rid of this little scary bird. It kind of scared me for a second there. So, on the double die, I end up bringing out my Crocodile. He's going to bring out his Pikachu. And I'm thinking, uh, pretty sure he's about to switch this thing out. Because, I mean, I have a Crocodile. I can go for Earthquake at any time. Because he goes for the, um, the fake out and stays in. I don't know why. I actually went for Pursuit, so I probably would have knocked it out either way. But I end up going for the um, the knockoff here on the second turn as he goes for the brick break and get a good bit of damage off. But I go for that knockoff just in case he still wanted to switch. But either way, I knock out Pikachu. Pikachu with a light ball, by the way, is kind of kind of good, kind of good, especially if you are uh, running at extreme speed in that boat tackle. Yeah, that's what I kind of run on mine. But as he gets his Skarmory in, I'm actually gonna um I'm gonna end up throwing throwing the rocks out as he also gets his rocks up. He has I believe he has leftovers or Rocky Helmet on that Skarmory over there. So I'm actually gonna uh, do the knockoff here just to knock off whatever item that is. And as he uh as it reveals, he end up does having the Rocky Helmet, so it's a good thing I knocked that off as I end up taking the Iron Head here. Crooked Dial's pretty pretty like nah Skarmory you're not doing that much damage to me right now so I'm actually going to get a little bit of health back from the leftovers and I'm going to switch my Crocodile out and go into my Suicune just to see what's going going here just because I have I really have nothing to really damage this Skarmory for real and it might have the root so we can pretty much 1v1 my Crocodile at any point in time so I bring in my Skarmory here and I'm, I'm going to or no I bring in my Suicune so I'm going to end up going for the Calm Mine here and I have my special attack plus one, special defense plus one. I'm probably gonna end up going for the skull, but he's ending up he's gonna end up going for the iron head. Actually, I actually do have to try to do the sub calm mind set here. But he reveals to end up having what I thought I thought he might have had this, but I don't know. They don't all run it, but they usually it's kinda common. He ends up world winning me out from my sub. So I end up uh, getting world winning right into my Blastoise here my Mr. Moist Cannon. He's gonna actually Mega Evolve and I'm gonna end up going for the Water Pulse. Blastoise is kind of like out of the three Mons, Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise, I would say Blastoise is probably my favorite one to Mega Evolve. Charizard just, I don't know what it is about Charizard, but he does nothing to it for me. Like I, I've tried him a couple times, I just can't get into him. I actually get off a pretty decent damage here with my Blastoise though. Mr. Blastoise gets whirlwinded out as I go into my Suicune. I get a little bit of health back here. A little bit of health and I go for the Scold. I end up knocking out this Skarmory. Thankfully he didn't go for the Roost and start, you know, just stalling me out. Stuff like that. He probably didn't have the Roost at that point. So, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. But glad he did not end up knocking him out. As he does bring in his Greninja. He brings in his spikes. And he bring in the rocks. 
I'm actually gonna um get a little bit of damage off as he goes for the dark post. I end up flinching and then it's like wow hacks hacks I hate flinching but you know everyone everyone hates that at those point in time especially at the end of the battle like this it's pretty much 3-3 three, three right now as he goes for another dark post he actually doesn't knock me out leaving me with 3 HP so I get another scold off and actually get a good a good crit I don't even know if that actually would have mattered like honestly it probably wouldn't have no I don't think it would have I don't, I don't think it would but he actually goes for the water shuriken, I guess try to, I don't I don't know why, he probably should have just went for the dark post again, because he actually risked this here, because he actually had to use four shurikens just to knock off my Suicune, four shurikens, and almost didn't knock me out, and I could have got off another skull, maybe even knocking him out, but he ends up knocking me out, I see he actually does get the four shurikens, ends up going into Ash Greninja as he's also battle bonded, I'm going to bring back out my Blastoise here, Mr. Moist Cannon, and this is why I pretty much said that that crit didn't matter because he actually ends up getting a crit himself on the dark post, which brings me all the way down. So Blastoise eats up the crit, goes for the Aura Spear, which would have probably knocked out Greninja no matter what here. So Greninja is knocked out and his last Pokemon ends up being this type Typhlosion. And I'm kind of scared at this point because Typhlosion outspeeds my Blastoise. And Typhlosion outspeeds my Crocodile, who is under 50% health. So he actually goes for the Focus Blast and actually gets a crit, which, you know, of course, didn't matter on my Blastoise knocking him out. And at this point, it's it's all or nothing here. He can easily go for Flamethrower and knock me out, but he probably is Scarfed. So he has to go for another Focus Blast, misses, thankfully, and I go for the Earthquake. And that is going to be the victory on my side over here for Team Raza. We're gonna go for, uh, we get the 1-0 victory against my boy Queezy, aka Isa. Good game, good game. Shout out to you. you, you you'll see this. Uh, so, yeah, other than that, I'll have something else up maybe like in a couple of days. I actually want to put up some Tekken. I just got Tekken 7, so I want to put that up. But other than that, yep, two videos on the end screen. Deuces.